Choose drama and theatre A-level. Why A-level drama? A-level drama is an exciting and creative course. It provides you with transferable skills employers and universities are looking for. Creative thinkers, confident presenters, collaborators and reflective practitioners. This course is for you if you love theatre, drama, working creatively with others, analysing texts and live performances. Drama and theatre A-level complements other subjects really well and shows universities and employers you are a confident and creative individual. Here's a quote from Polly Lavelle, who's a history student at the University of Oxford. I genuinely think choosing A-level drama and theatre has been one of the most valuable decisions I have ever and will ever make. I don't think any other subject can rival the breadth and wealth of knowledge and skills it will give you. Samuel Marsh, a legal consultant, soon to be pupil barrister and University of Cambridge graduate. Getting an offer of pupillage is one of the most competitive obstacles on route to becoming a barrister. I can say with absolute certainty that my background in drama helped me deal with interviews and ultimately get the job. A-level drama and theatre studies is broken down into three components, devising, text and performance and the written exam. For the devising component, you work creatively with a group to devise an original performance piece. Similar to the GCSE course, you were given a stimulus, however the stimulus uh, for A-level drama is a practitioner and also a performance text. And we have free choice of performance text and practitioner, so we can look at contemporary plays and contemporary practitioners. The assessment itself is a performance of your devised piece and a written or recorded portfolio. Component two is text and performance, and there are two aspects to this, a group performance of one key extract from performance text and a monologue or duologue from a from a contrasting uh, performance text and the assessment of this is a performance in front of a visiting examiner. Component three is your written exam and there are three components to this, the live theatre review, a practical exploration and study of one performance text and a contrasting performance text and the assessment itself is the written exam. In terms of texts and practitioners, for component one and two, we have free choice of text and practitioners. So we can look at contemporary plays and contemporary practitioners. And for component three, there's a, a list of, uh, of texts. And they, as you can see, they're very varied from Fences, August Wilson, Equus to Dr. Faustus. So a huge range of uh, performance texts which we can look at. So where will this take you? Possible careers after drama and theatre level. Performer, theatre director, designer, lighting, set, sound and costume, but also wider. Casting director, agent, stage manager, TV producer, production, presenter, researcher, teacher, youth worker, marketing, advertising, law, management, roles in any organisation.